to. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to uh, the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 1 free game uh, show and kickoff show as well. We kick off week one of the NFL. And the Kansas City Chiefs are playing the Detroit Lions. It's tied at seven with uh, uh, almost uh, five and a half minutes left in the first half before halftime. Uh, we will uh, talk about the uh, uh, tonight's game and what we expect, and we'll uh, and all that. But first, here is today's Scott Sports One Hundred and One Thursday Night Football Week One trivia question: Which uh, Chiefs quarterback holds the team record for most passing yards in a single game? We'll have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Week One of the NFL. And it's Thursday night football week one, and, and we have a great AFC-NFC matchup for you tonight. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the, De- the Detroit Lions are, are scoring off right now at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, and right now uh, it is uh, Chiefs and uh, uh and Lions tied at seven with uh, a little bit under five and a half, with five fourteen left in the second quarter. Time now, now the Chiefs uh, might not have uh, defensive tackle Chris Jones, but for the regular season opener against the Lions, they likely will have receiver uh, Kedre Astani, who has been activated. And uh, Travis Kels uh, is out for this game with a knee injury. I just want to let you know that, and hopefully he'll be back in a. In a few weeks, uh, hopefully next week or a couple of weeks, Tony, who missed uh, most of training camp, uh, uh, well, it's, uh, most of training camp, and all of the off season after undergoing another knee uh, procedure, is on uh, track for to play Thursday night right now, and he is good to go, and he is playing tonight. Uh, Coach Andy Reid told reporters on Sunday via uh, Tyler Sullivan of CBSSports.com, he's moving around pretty good. Uh, uh, and uh, Tommy, a 2021 first-round draft pick uh, of the Giants, traded to the Chiefs last season for Chiefs uh, to, to the Chiefs. The, the Chiefs are hoped ho- – the Chiefs are hopeful, excuse me, that he can become their true number one receiver. They haven't had since uh, training, uh, trading Tyree Kill uh, during the 2022 offseason to the Miami Dolphins. Uh, <laughs> in seven uh, regular season games with the Chiefs, Tony has had 14 catches for 171 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, added, uh, he had a 59 rushing yards and a touchdown during during Super Bowl 58, 57, excuse me. During Super Bowl 57, he had one catch, but it went for a key second half touchdown as the uh, Chiefs uh, came from behind to beat the Eagles. Uh, 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 and uh, the first injury report will uh, appear on uh, Monday, and it will show whether he is still uh, regarded as being injured or if he is uh, so whether to what uh, – Extent he practiced, but he is playing. Tony uh, is playing uh, tonight. And uh, and I will say this: and uh, uh, the Chiefs are looking uh, to repeat as Super Bowl uh, champions. 
But they, uh, but that is something that is very hard to do, and we'll have to see how their season goes. And because this was their first Super Bowl victory in two years since 2020, so. Uh, since 2020, and so we'll have to see what they uh, do uh, this season. Uh, meanwhile, the Lions, who were uh, one of the surprise teams last season, are looking to really do better than, than they did last year, but they did surprise everybody. And uh, they really want to do better this season than what they uh, did uh, last season. And uh, so, uh, and uh, I do feel the Lions really want to do better than what they did last year. And uh, they really just want to, uh, and Jared Goff is playing tonight. And, uh, and they're still tied with four minutes to go before, uh, uh, halftime, and uh, and uh, so I really feel that, uh, and they really want to get back. They would like to be back in the playoffs, the Lions. So uh, we will have to see. Uh, And I really think the Lions really need to uh, play well, and they really need to. They're playing well right now because it is tied at seven, and they they've really done a lot of work this off season, and their their uh, offense is really showing life, and and their defense is starting to. Uh, And uh, I really think that the Lions could be one of these surprise teams again this season. I really think that they can. So, And so I really think that the Lions... Might be a surprise again. And Jared Goff, he is really, a, they're coming alive in this game right now. They've really kept the Chiefs on their toes right now. And I really, and I think the Lions, they'd like to start out 1-0, but I know the Chiefs want to start, uh, uh, want to start out 1-0 too again this year like they did last year. So we shall see. And I really think, uh, so we'll see. And so we'll get back to talking more about this in just a moment. Uh, but right now, it is time to reveal the answer um, to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, trivia question. Week 1 trivia question, Thursday Night Football. Which Chiefs QB holds the team record for most passing yards in a single game? And if you said Elvis Skurbach, you are correct. On uh, November uh, 5th, 2000, Elvis Skurbach completed 39 and 53 passes for 504 yards, two touchdowns, 
uh, two interceptions, but was uh, out dueled by his former backup, Rich Gannon, as the Chiefs fell to Shannon's Raiders 49 to 31. I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, uh, which will be on Sunday. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's what you can do. So, uh, and getting back to tonight's game, right now they are tied at seven, and uh, uh, Detroit had uh, first and tenth at the Detroit Detroit forty one, uh, Montgomery uh, right end to Detroit forty six for five yards, and uh, and then they had a uh, Jared Goff pass a complete short left to Jones for no gain, and so uh, and we're about at uh, two. 250 till halftime. And so we'll see the outcome of this game tonight. So uh see what happens in that second half. But we're running down the first half. So we'll call this a uh pregame kickoff update show. And uh there was just uh, one more thing, and I am going with, uh, let me give you my Thursday night football pick. Who I'm going with. I am going with the Kansas City Chiefs, and I'm saying Chiefs 31, Lions 24. Now, I have a little announcement here. Uh, this is my last uh, pregame show of Scott Sports 101, my last as a podcast here, and my, post, and my last postgame show after this game here at this house on, at 1711 Renford Road here in South Euclid because my mom and I are moving, as of tomorrow, into an apartment at Sherry Park Apartments. So. Beginning this weekend on Sunday, you will see uh, I will begin doing podcasts from my new uh, studio bedroom uh, at my apartment at Sherry Park Apartments. And so you will see a brand new set. So look for it. Look for that on Sunday. That will be after the Browns game. So I will do it after. So don't forget. And uh, Matt Murphy will join me Sunday. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 1 pregame kickoff uh, update show. I'll be back at, with the Thursday Night Football postgame show once the, the Lions and Chiefs have concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1, I'm done.